What's going on folks? Hope you're having a good one. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to actually bridge Ethereum from the Ethereum blockchain to the scaling solution base, which is endorsed by Coinbase. Very exciting stuff. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to add the base blockchain, that scaling solution onto your MetaMask. Now, there's a great article here from CoinGecko, which I have used and it does work properly. I'm gonna leave that in the description of this video. It is literally the page we are on right here. How to add base to MetaMask. Essentially, guys, we won't go through the entire article in this video. I'll let you guys do that. But basically, this is the most important information that you need here, scrolling about down halfway on the page. You're going to need the network name, base, the network URL. You're gonna copy paste that into your MetaMask there. 8453 is going to be the chain ID. The currency symbol is going to be Ethereum. And you can also add the Block Explorer URL, which is optional. Now, I'll quickly add just a little bit of a screenshot here of my own little MetaMask wallet of how it will look, where you actually need to insert it. But you just basically need to have a look here and insert all the information just here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to bridge from Ethereum over to Base, all right? So it's actually pretty easy. Guys, I'll leave the correct link here for the website that I'm on again in the description of this video, but you just gotta make sure all of these boxes are filled in correctly. So from this network, that's Ethereum, okay? That's your basic Ethereum network on your MetaMask. Now to this network, it's gonna be going to Base. So you've got a few options here, all right? Make sure you go ahead and choose Base. Again, if that's not on Ethereum, make sure it's on Ethereum guys make sure you're on ethereum chain that should be all fine and we're going to be sending ethereum today so you send here on the left you receive here on the right so we're going to go into you send first select ethereum right here okay and then we're going to go ahead and select you receive ethereum right here as you can see, it should show your available balance. I can have 0 0.252504 ethereum here now I'm going to go ahead and send almost all of that but just leaving a little bit for gas fee so we're going to go 0 two four five it will just take a moment to load there and it should give you the fee at the moment i'm looking at about an eleven dollar sixty five cent usd gas fee and my estimated return over here on base network with ethereum is going to be 497.22 usd so if that all looks good guys just go down to the bottom and confirm now this here is going to be total amount plus gas which equates to 513.77 as you can see metamask takes a 0.875 percent metamask fee let's go ahead and press confirm you're going to need to confirm that in your MetaMask, which will appear at the top right hand side of screen there. And it says here transaction has been submitted and the bridging is in process and estimated completion is at 12.25 a.m. GMT. And it says the transaction has been confirmed and it says switch network to see your funds in your new wallet. And then as you can see, this is actually my base wallet here on screen on my MetaMask. And you can see there's 0 0.2426 Ethereum. It took under one minute to go through, probably about 40 seconds. So pretty efficient. Gas fee is you know, still pretty expensive when we compare it to chains like IMX, for example, or Kronos. But it is what it is, you know. Coinbase want to go ahead and still use Ethereum. Who knows? Maybe that'll get a bit cheaper in the future with other scaling solutions but for now you know base is going to cost about that much guys so again let me know if you enjoyed this video guys smash the like button and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell too cheers